nobody likes to talk about sales. If you're not good at sales, you're not gonna be a successful coach. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. I am the owner and founder of Emily Woods Wellness LLC, my online platform for new health coaches who want to make a profit and a massive impact in the online space. If that is you, if you are thinking about getting certified, you are in the process of doing so, or you have been certified for a while, welcome here you guys. I am consistently, about two times a week consistently actually, creating free extended educational coaching content on this channel. So make sure you hit subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you never miss a free training with me again. Also, my Instagram is at Emily Woods Wellness. If you are not following me over there, I post almost daily educational and inspirational content for entrepreneurs, specifically online health coaches. So Welcome here, you guys. I am kind of running out of daylight, so sorry about that, but I'm so excited and I felt really called to hop in front of the camera today and talk about sales calls because nobody likes to talk about sales. But actually, a lot of people are really scared of sales. And the thing is, let me, let me tell you how it is. If you're not good at sales, specifically, if you freeze up, you lose your cool, you don't have your shit together on sales calls, you're not gonna be a successful coach. And it's hard to hear and it sucks. And you might be such a good coach when you're actually in client sessions, but you can't get into client sessions unless you make the sale. So with that being said, it's very important that we take a moment to discuss what it is that most coaches do when they're first entering their journey into sales, why that doesn't work and what you can do instead. Specifically, I'm going to be focusing on my model for a successful sales call. This is what I teach in depth and with one-on-one -on -one assistance within the Foundations of Online Coaching program. That program is now waitlisting for the last cohort of 2021. It will start in August. It's gonna be a small, intimate cohort that will sell out off of the waitlist exclusively. And it is the most comprehensive program on the market for brand new coaches. It is hybrid group program, and one-on-one -on -one time with me. So you have community, you have specific one-on-one -on -one mentorship. It's a complete education all the way from niching down into a profitable niche, all the way through large scale launching and scaling your income, including the logistics and optimization that it takes to build a business. This includes program creation, sales, and everything in between, you guys. I would really encourage you to go click the link down below in the description to read about the curriculum, add your name to the wait list if you're even remotely interested because you'll secure yourself a discount if we decide it's a good fit and if not you just get a free discovery call to talk with me and have a coffee with me you know never a bad plan never a bad plan so when it comes to sales calls for new coaches once you get over the hump of writing your program putting a price on it making the initial connections with ideal clients right these are all things I'm teaching in the foundations of online coaching program you feel like you're there. You're like, I've done everything that felt really hard to me. I'm good. And then you realize you now have to make the sale and close the sale and actually get the ball rolling with making money and getting a client, you know, locked into place that you can help them. You can change their life, right? Open their eyes to the world of holistic health and wellness. Like it's a big deal. Okay. But what most coaches tend to do is throughout the course of that initial time on the phone, you as a coach get more and more nervous. You're like a little clammy. You're like a little kind of like, oh God, like this is fine, but I don't want to talk about the price. I'm not really comfortable talking about the structure of the program. And so help me God if they ask me how much experience I have because I might just faint. Is that you, right? Like we don't want that. We want confidence and we need confidence because the person you're trying to sell to already doesn't have confidence in themselves. They're already looking for help from you and likely they're gauging uh, the confidence they should have in themselves and the ability that they have to make a change off of how confident you are in yourself and in them. Basically, not to scare you, but your ideal client or your potential client on the other side of the Zoom call can smell fear, okay? So it's very important that not only do you act confident, but you embody confidence and leadership in this space. So. I'm going to insert a little screenshot here of my little model of what is not the right thing to do on a sales call, right? Okay, and I have my textbook here for Foundations of Online Coaching. She's a beaut. And I'm gonna be looking at my model here. So what happens generally on a sales call is you're feeling confident when it's just chatting time. 
you get on the phone, you're like, okay, you know, what are you struggling with? And you go over a few things from like an intake form. You have a few nerves, you're a little apprehensive, but once you get the client or the potential client talking, you feel better. You're like, okay, they're talking. So your energy starts to climb a little bit because you're like, yes, this is exciting. I love listening to people, right? Like you're a coach. You have a knack for listening and offering solutions, right? But then you remember, I can't do this for free and I need to start talking about my offer. So then we have our energetic kind of dead line basically where you're kind of talking about your offer you haven't really rehearsed that you're not super confident in describing your offer uh, because you don't have a ton of experience and that's when the energy starts to kind of peter out and then the thing that literally ends it all talking about the investment and i get it it's not that fun at first to be like okay, now here's how much the program costs. But what happens is you're listening, you're listening, you're like, yes, you have this problem, this problem, this problem. Okay, cool. Let me describe the program. So basically at that point, leaving the client or the potential client out of the conversation altogether, diving into a probably a little bit shaky description of your program and then saying, okay, and now it's time to talk about the investment. Like as if that's like a hard stop, we're shifting gears instead of saying like, hey, I'm so glad to be talking with you about this. Like it's such a reasonable price right now. Like let's talk about that and the payment plans that I offer. So what that looks like a slight energetic climb. Then we totally dead zone here and a total drop off of energy as we talk about the price. And that's not what we need when we're talking about the price. Cause in reality, the price of your program is really exciting for you and for your client. For you, you're like, hell yeah, I'm getting paid. I'm making an impact. I'm going to the beach. I'm being an entrepreneur. I'm going to go to a coffee shop 15 times in one day, just like entrepreneurs do, right? But for the client, right? They're thinking this is so high value. She's offering flexible payment plans. This is so doable for me, but it's totally not the cheap option. Like I've got this, right? That should be confidence inducing. Okay, so here we have our, what I'm gonna call like introductory kind of failure inducing energetic pattern of a new coach sales call. Now let's flip the page, literally flip the page into the energetics of a really successful sales call. Now on a successful sales call, whether you have a ton of experience or you're just confident in what you have to offer because you have that worth intrinsically like rooted within your heart and soul, which you should have. And if you ever work with me, I will root that and just, just beat that into you, I promise. So you go on to the call knowing that you have something so valuable to offer. And even if you're a new coach, you know, gosh, like I'm so blessed. And this person talking to me, we're so lucky to be talking at this moment where my prices are so reasonable and I have so much to give and so much flexibility. And I'm so enthusiastic and fresh and energetic and I'm not burnt out. This is so lucky. You go in as if the sale is already closed and the energy starts to climb. As you create a fun and inviting and safe space for the ideal client to share with you what they're going through. Now in your mind, you're taking mental notes and you're thinking, okay, rather than rehearsing your script of how to describe your program, you're thinking, this isn't really about me breaking down every little minute detail of my program. This is about me listening to the problems that this ideal client is having, this unique individual person, listening actively, maybe jotting down a few notes, but at least taking mental notes of what are they struggling with that I can repeat back to them, let them know I heard them, and basically in this moment, solve those problems with my program. How can I say, okay, Susie, you've been trying to lose 15 pounds for the last 10 years and you just can't kick your, you know, your habit with sugar and your stress is sky high, whatever it might be within my program, this is how I address that. Instead of saying, okay, cool, sorry, you're struggling with that. Now I'm gonna talk about my whole agenda. Do you see that difference, right? You shift from hard stop going into the structure of your program to integrating what this person is struggling with, with how you can solve their problems via your program. And then in the end, all you really need is a quick discussion of the structure of your program in a very like consolidated way, one to two sentences really, keeping the ideal client involved in the conversation. Don't let them stop talking so you can just steamroll over them with details, right? Keep them involved. Have you ever tried anything like this? How is this different from what you've tried in the past? Is this exciting to you? Do you have questions? Keep them involved. At this point, when it comes time to discuss the investment, all you're doing is facilitating the connection between the two of you, right? Clearly this client does not think they're under no illusion that this is going to be free, right? They are not going to walk into the doctor's office and say, here are my problems. 
buy, buy for free. Same thing with you, like this whole program, this whole solution is not going to be free. They know that. So go in knowing that the investment piece of the conversation can come so naturally and seamlessly. And all you need to do is make it a part of the conversation. And the key to a successful sales call is that you don't clam up at the end and say, okay, here's the price. Like, sorry so much. Talk to you later. Like DM me if you're in. No, you sit there with them in that moment and you discuss the numbers and you say, okay, Here's the full picture. You have some details of the program. You have the, you know, bigger picture of the investment and how it all integrates together and how I truly think this will benefit you and your life, your physical and mental health. What questions do you have for me? How are you feeling about all of this? Get them to respond. Don't put any worries on them, right? Like if if you're assuming that they're worried about the price, that's not fair because they might not be, right? Don't put that on them. And if they say that they are, their worries and fears and apprehensions in their situation is different from anything you could ever guess. So you don't wanna be placing these assumptions on people essentially is what I'm saying. So you let them speak to you, you talk with them openly, and then you let them know. If they need time to think, that's great. But you schedule a follow-up call with them to have that discussion between 24 and 48 hours after the initial call. So they can ask questions if they need to, and they can discuss a payment plan, or if they're, you know, if they wanna sign up, what that payment might look like. Your goal is going to be always, always, always to get as close to a verbal commitment on that initial call as possible. That doesn't mean you pressure, you use scare tactics, or that you push someone in a direction that makes them uncomfortable. You stay empathetic, you stay caring, and you are not desperate. Do not be desperate for sales. Remember, you are a badass. You're providing a life-changing service. And if you're describing it correctly, and this person truly does have the issues that require your help, you, that connection will be made, right? Facilitate your offer very smoothly, verbally, and hold that space empathetically for them. But remember that the time you're spending on that first call needs to be made worth it by either reaching a commitment point at that time or getting as close to that as possible so you can prep for the follow-up which you're booking on the call and within 24 to 48 hours. So I wanted to make this video kind of an intensive and to give you what I would call a very, very, very quick overview of how I coach my clients on how to do successful sales. Now with my specific clients in the foundations program and in my one-on-one -on -one mentorships, we talk about the details of their specific programs, of their specific struggles on sales calls because everyone is different in these situations. We make sure that they have a custom plan to overcome objections on sales calls and to maintain confidence when faced with maybe a potential trickier client situation. Also, we talk about what happens if you're on the phone with someone who you don't actually think you wanna work with and why it matters that you're a little bit picky about the clients that you have, right? This is why in all my programs, we go through a filtration process so that we are sure, both you and I, that we are a good match and we're gonna get you the success that you're looking for. So I hope this was helpful. If that type of directive guidance and training sounds like it would be helpful for you and like it would change the game for you in sales, please add your name to the Foundations of Online Coaching waitlist down below. It is such a life-changing program and it will not be back until next year, which is a while away, honestly. So make sure you don't wait, even if you just want the chance to get on a free discovery call with me and to get some free educational emails while you're on the waitlist. But I hope you're having a phenomenal day or night wherever you are and that you are doing something today to go after it and make your dreams in entrepreneurship come true. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. I believe in you so much. Always remember that, and I will see you guys in the next one.